Basically, we don't really understand what's happening when ice forms pretty much anywhere on Earth. So after freezing about a thousand of these droplets, I noticed two really cool things. Thing one is that the pattern of the fractal forest was always similar, but never exactly the same, even when I froze and thawed and refroze and thawed and refroze the same droplet over and over again. So I popped into the scientific literature and I discovered that these things are called dendrites and that science has known about them since at least 1611. Why? Why do these dendrites happen? You can see that there are multiple dendrites in a droplet and that every dendrite has a trunk that originates from a single specific point. And so the question is, what is happening at that point at the moment when the dendrite is first forming? And the somewhat surprising and sort of mysterious answer is that if the water is touching something, which this water is, we don't really understand what is happening on the molecular level at that point and time when the dendrite is first forming. But if the water is really, really pure, not touching anything, and super cold, like minus 38-ish Celsius, we understand initial ice formation really well. We can predict it. We can model it. We can simulate it. It looks like this simulation that you're looking at right now. But again, those conditions are not very likely to happen in everyday water. But if the water does have something dissolved in it, or if it is touching something, and by the way, those categories encompass almost all of the water on Earth, we don't have a great understanding of how this initial ice cluster gets formed. 